How's my signal today? Loud and clear, lousy, in between? Thank you. Good morning, Good to Gabby. Story today. Good morning. <laughs> Which story am I going to share today is the biggest question. <laughs> Raul. <laughs> the story about Raul. The once upon a time was a man named Raul. <laughs> um, just wanted to wait a couple more seconds. I'm not sure where JQ's at. Trying to find the O N O F F switch on his computer and turn it to the O N position. That's probably a good idea. Hopefully he finds it and everything works out well. Um, had a, a crazy couple of days for me, man. I'm telling you, but uh, I think we're finally getting on the right track with a bunch of things, and uh, uh, I've got my fingers crossed as well as they can get crossed. I mean, I have to manually cross them. Wait a second. There we go. <laughs> you are a little loud, Keith. All right, let's see. Really, what's new? Well, let, let's. Uh, I guess I'll start with the story about uh, Raul, and uh, uh, hopefully you guys can appreciate it. Great. I did turn it down a little bit, but usually I'm right around 40 in terms of my uh, monitor. Remember, uh, Bill, uh, just to the right of my picture, there's a sliding uh, vertical bar. You can s slide it down to lower my volume if you want to do that. All right. Uh, hello, Jimmy Shine. I haven't seen your name in a couple days. Done that. Been there. Okay. I'm down to uh, number, let's see, I guess at the 30, 33% uh, level. So I'm not sure what else might be going on. Anyway, um, one of the favorite things that we tend to do in the Q&A room is uh, – bash a particular company. And I don't know if you guys have noticed that. Um, <laughs> it's called Q and called uh, GVO. <laughs> uh, so that's happened quite a bit where there's been some bashing going on with GVO and sometimes it's granted. I'm a basher, says Gabby. There you go. <laughs> um, and sometimes it's it's granted. So this time I want to tell a I want to tell a very positive story about uh, GVO and uh, the man named Raul. Uh, as uh, many of you know, Gabby uh, and a couple other people have had a difficult time getting into our dedicated server. And we've been trying to solve the problem. I've been trying to solve the problem on my end. Gabby's been trying to solve the problem on his end. Sean Carpenter had a problem. His problem uh, uh, was a little bit different than I think others. But I went to a business yesterday in Boston, and the business in Boston who's using Comcast could not uh, see uh, any of our websites. So uh, after uh, they requested that I get uh, copies of pings and and uh, tracers and all this stuff, I got I got so busy yesterday that I was not able to send a message out to uh, write a ticket again to GVO until I believe it was 11:30 my time last night that I wrote up a ticket to GVO. 11.30 my time last night, and then I emailed directly to Raul at 11.30 my time, which is really 10.30 his time, I guess. Uh, I then just walked away from the computer, and I watched TV for a little bit before I uh, uh, put the lights out. Well, when I woke up this morning, I got an, an email from Raul at uh, 12.15 my time, which would have been 11.15 his time saying, uh, Keith, get your email. Uh, I looked into it. I found the problem. And he said, uh, all will be good. Uh, I, and then dot, 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 I promise. So then I get another email at uh, uh, about 1245 AM my time that said, uh, Keith, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what went wrong, but uh, we I, I went to reboot it, and uh, the system wouldn't reboot. I'm heading to the office. I'm heading to the office. Now, the only people that I know that at 11 o'clock at night, that when something's not working, that head to the office to fix the problem, they're typically the owner of the company, right? But this guy, Raul, gets, gets, takes off his pink slippies, 
gets out, takes off his bathrobe, puts on his clothes, and drives to Joel's office and uh, works on my computer. Uh, and at 1.15 my time in the morning, something, something around there, he uh, sent a third email message saying, you're all fixed, everything's good to go. Now, if that is not a perfect testimonial for a company, I don't know what else is. Uh, I know that I've talked uh, positive about the dedicated servers in the past with uh, GVO, and there, there, there is a different bird when you have the GVO dedicated servers versus when you have a shared server with GVO. They're just a, they're, they, they handhold you differently. And I was just, uh, yeah, I need to hire him, exactly. <laughs> exactly, I need to hire him. Now, JQ, I see that you've come into the room, but I don't hear any sound from you whatsoever. Now I do. I hear a little something, I think. Yeah, I was slurping. Uh, you're, you're late, by the way. Yeah, well, I couldn't log you in. To my, uh, you have to pay. Uh, you sound like you're using the wrong uh, uh, mic as well. No, but I'm going to fix that. Okay. Um, happy oh. to hear a good report about uh, GVO. There you go, uh, Davine. Uh, kudos to Raul. Raul, actually, what I mean, seriously, you know, this is not, I, I got to tell you, this is not the first time Raul went way out of his way to help me out with the problem. I mean, this is probably like the tenth time Raul has done this uh, for me, and I'm sure he does it for not just me. He's done it for a lot of other people. So he was absolutely, uh, he's a total keeper with GVO, and uh, if I could hire him, I would in a second. I'd fire JQ uh, w without even blinking an eye if Raul had come to work with me. <laughs> uh, two story. <laughs> Uh, but that's, I mean, that's, uh, uh, so if you guys are looking for a dedicated server um, and, you're, and you're serious and you, and you want to take, a, you know, look at three different companies, make sure that GVO is one of them, seriously, because they really do a, a bang-up job, and uh, that's all I have to say about that. So, hey, uh, uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, go ahead, Jake, uh, Gabby. I, I hear that's high camera. in cholesterol. <laughs> Okay, go off camera, buddy. Pull out that old custard on the inside. See you guys in a bit. <laughs> well, you go enjoy with that. Now, there's nothing like a donut and a cup of coffee. Um, but I, unfortunately, the only time I'll ever eat a donut is with a cup of coffee. But I'm not a donut guy. It's just not my thing. My mom, on the other hand, she was a, a donut lady, and she loved Jelly donuts. Absolutely loved jelly donuts. If you wanted to, uh, uh, if you wanted to get into my mother's heart or have her or come in with an apology, like I'm sorry I did something, I had to do was get her a Dunkin' Donuts uh, cup of coffee and a and a Dunkin' Donuts uh, jelly donut, and you're you're golden. You're a golden boy for a month. Uh, I I like a good donut sandwich with egg, cheese, and bacon in between two Boston creams. Uh, UMass Dartmouth, go. <laughs> All right, today what I want to do, and I don't know if Terry Holt is in the room or not, and of course he probably isn't, but uh, I'm going to, this, we are recording this show, and today's show is going to be focused around creating iframes and using our system, our uh, Vercast system, inside an iframe. So I'm going to try to go from soup to nuts. And uh, JQ, I don't see you as active at all with sound. Uh, and hopefully you can get active with your sound because, um, oh good, he is there. I, didn't, I just didn't see your name there. Now I see it, yeah. Uh, so we're going to talk about, uh, Terry uh, Holt uh, uh, requested uh, that we go over iframes, and that's exactly what we're going to go over. And after we go over the iframes and how that works and how we can incorporate uh, Vercast with iframes, uh, then we'll just uh, we'll move on to any other questions you guys have. Uh, Davey, no news as of yet, other than I know that it's being worked on real hard this week. Uh, JQ has left the building. So I'm just going to wait, guys, for JQ to come back so that uh, um, if there are any questions that people might have or uh, if JQ um, thinks that I may have missed a step, because that does happen every once in a while, I'll miss a step and he'll chime in. Uh, that's what I'm going to want to, want him to do. 
So I'll just wait. By the by the way, how does how does the sound coming across today? Is it looking good, guys? My sound and clear. Great. Excellent. Beautiful. Thanks, Jim Cobb. You're awesome. <laughs> uh, Jim Cobb, ladies and gentlemen, has uh, um, been working hard on uh, on his particular company that he's focusing on, his uh, multi-level marketing company he's focusing on. But I've heard some comments about Jim Cobb and how he's lost a tremendous amount of weight. And I want to congratulate him because I know it's not an easy thing to do. So uh, great job on losing uh, that weight. And uh, here's my, my, I have my fingers crossed, 56 pounds. 56 pounds. That's amazing. Woohoo! Uh, that's just great stuff to hear. In four months. Well, if you do the, if you double that in the next four months, you'll just disappear to somewhere else. <laughs> You'll be two backed, which would be so skinny. You'll be like you're back to back. <laughs> okay, with regard to Terry's event, I tried to register for this for his event, and when I filled out the info and clicked submit, I kept getting a 404 error. Um, that's great to know, Bill. I will take a look at that too. Uh, I, I have not, uh, Terry. I have not looked at your site yet, and I don't know if you've asked me to. Uh, Great, Davin. And we're, as I mentioned, we are recording this message. This, uh, so uh, I'm just going to go into recording, and, and uh, hopefully JQ will be able to uh, jump in. Let's see. Gabby says I was able to register, but have not re uh, received any follow-up emails. Oh, that's a that's a great thing. So Terry, um, try to contact me, and I'll make sure that you understand exactly how to uh, do the follow-up emails. In fact, guys, if you want to stay on late. I'll do the. I'm going to do the iframe process now, and then I'm going to do how to um, add on emails in the back office. Okay. And I'm going to. Vince has entered the room. Yay, Vince! Swing your pen like Flynn. If you have any questions, remember, uh, at the very bottom middle, you'll be seeing uh, a tab. All you need to do is click that tab, and when you click the tab, it'll bring up the chat room, and you can ask any uh, question that you want to ask. I'm going to desktop sharing now. Wait for it. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of time for it to blast off the desktop sharing, and we have a connection. Okay, so the first thing, and I think Gabby is eating his donut, but if he can hear this, it's a problem. Gabby sees it inside. I don't think he can. Um, obviously, he's having some technical difficulties. This is the system that I use because I don't like to have to think if I don't need to because I think about other things that I need to think about. And this is called 7th Space. I'm going to actually uh, copy this link, and I'll give you this link after uh, uh, I do the presentation. Let me go to my notepad. Just loading up notepad so that after this presentation, I'll give you this link. But that's the link to find this iframe generator. And I use this iframe generator system because it's very simple, very easy to use, and it does a couple of little things. So again, you don't have to think, and it generates the HTML code. Let me give you an example. Let's say that uh, um, I wanted to uh, have, let's say I wanted people to go to keithcarberry.com website. And when they went to the keithcarberry.com website, there was a little section where I wanted them to uh, use Google to search um, the Google website within my the Google system within my website so they didn't have to leave and go to Google or open up a window something of that nature and again this is just a quick example uh, and then I'm going to go over the actual example where you will you you'll want to use this when you're using uh, the Vercast uh, uh, webinar system so frame name we just called it my iframe and the width uh, let's say the width is going to be uh, uh, 640 wide by a height of 480. 
and I always use pixels, but you can use percentage of the window. Personally, I just like to use pixels because I know exactly what's what. Uh, inside this uh, iframe generator, we have a couple different uh, things that we can do. Did I just hear JQ pump in? JQ? Or is that Gabby? Never mind, I'm just saying Gabby. Okay, no, so... No, it's Gabby. Oh, okay, Gabby. All right, so here's, here's a nice thing you can also use. You can actually, with this system, with this iframe generator, you can put a border around your uh, system. And I'll give you an example of where I actually put a border. Uh, let me go to vercast.com. Quick second here. And when people click on the word sign up or if they scroll down and they can see the sign up link. Now, just to let you know, this, this is actually iframed without a border. This where it says pro, best value, expert, this is not actually sitting on this website. It's sitting on another website. And I've got this right here iframed into this particular page. But I don't have, I also have, one minute here, guys. It's going to start a, a video here. Let me just stop it once it starts. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll down a little bit more here. And this is also iframed in this page. So if you go into vercast.com step1.html, this, this section with the red dot is iframed as well. I just put a nice little fancy dot around it so people could focus on registering for Vercast. So those are the, different, those are the two different styles of uh, iframes that you can create with this iframe generator. All right. So again, uh, what I've done here, that you can name the iframe if you want. Um, so I've got uh, width 640, 480, uh, scroll bar, no. I don't want to have a scroll bar. Uh, margin width, I'm not going to worry about that. Do I want to have a border? I put in yes. I can then say I want it to be uh, dashed. And I can say that I want it to be four pixels thick. And then I can just put in google.com and just simply generate iframe. Now all I do is take this code it's automatically generated for me. Now, isn't that much easier than thinking? I know a lot of people like to think about exactly how to do this, but it takes instead of instead of uh, wasting two minutes, you're saving you know you're saving 90 seconds out of your life by doing this. And if you get confused about it, like I do, and you and you miss a and you miss a little quote somewhere, and you can't figure out where it is because your eyes get blurry, and you might end up missing uh, messing up 15 minutes of your life when you don't need to by just using our the system here. So I can just now take go into my composer, K O M P O Z E R, and I can go into source. And right here I'm going to center it. And I'm going to close that center. And I think it should show up here as a script. So okay, so here we are. This is my this is what shows up because I created it at 640 by 480. All right. Now I'm just gonna go into here, see if anybody has any questions. JQ has entered the yeah, room. Keith, you might show how you close the center, okay? A lot of people uh, I know I actually, when I'm working I actually with them, did, they need I actually to, did do that, but I'll, I need I'll to do, show them that with the forward slash. Okay. Yep. Okay, one second. Let me go back in there. Uh, JQ has entered the room, but I don't hear him, so I'm going to do this real fast. I'm going to actually going to go home here with uh, JQ and see if he can uh, get his sound going here. Oh, it did say JQ is, has entered, but I don't see him at all. Oh, here he is. Yeah, I'll just he's, uh, bring him in. There you go. All right. Okay, you back now, JQ? Yeah, but I can't log in with my 
I didn't log it. It sends me to my own personal account. Uh, you're still um, all messed up with the sound. So I don't know what to, I don't know what to yeah, say. Yeah. He said uh, when he logged in on the uh, regular login, it's sending him to his personal account. Hey, Bert. Sending him to his personal account instead of uh, to this site here. That's odd. It shouldn't, oh, you know what? I think he's obviously he's using the, 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 the wrong system, maybe. I'm not sure. All right. So, uh, I, sorry, JQ, but I'm going to go back to uh, desktop sharing and finish what I was working on here. When most of these guys, I had to disable desktop sharing to see if I could hook JQ up, but obviously he's having technical issues. All right, and uh, if you don't see anything, uh, Gabby, let me know, but if you do, you don't have to chime in. All right, so what we've done again is uh, I've just created uh, this iframe, and I, I copied it and pasted it into the source here. And what I've done here is I've centered it. So I, I created this file that's uh, uh, that opens the center, and then I finished it by putting close center in here. And I just put everything right inside here. Now, what I can do is I'm going to actually now put, put in a couple spaces. And guys, I am not really good at this stuff just to just to let you know <laughs> this is not my cup of tea but that's and but that's why I'm showing it to you because if I can do this anyone in this room can do this right all right so I'm gonna go back to uh, composer and take a look at it now what I did with the with the spaces the BR is a couple spaces and the reason why I created the uh, a couple spaces is so I could have a couple areas where I can write something on top uh, welcome to my world uh, famous website. And I'll just center this. And I'll make it red. And I'll make it bigger by clicking this button here. And I'll bold that puppy. Okay, so welcome to my world famous website, and then, uh, down below here I can uh, put anything I want. I'll send to this again. Uh, thank you for coming, and I can now save this file, save as. Uh, Famous. Click on OK. What I did is when I the first time I saved it and I clicked on Famous, that that's the title that I gave it. When somebody goes into the goes into the website and they look at the uh, uh, the tab and they hover over the tab with their mouse, it's going to say Famous on there. And I'm also going to save it as Famous. And I'm going to put this on. Uh, let's see. I'll put this in my. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this. I'll save this in uh, Documents and click on Save. So now I've just saved this. And again, all that's in here is welcome to my world, world famous website. I've uh, put Google in here in the website. And at the very end, I put thank you for coming. And that was it. Now, the same thing holds true if I was to use my iframe within the, within the uh, uh, Vercast system. And I could frame this, I could grab this frame, and I could do the exact same thing. Instead of uh, using Google.com, I would put in my long uh, login link for this site. And that would be, let's go in here now. I'm going to go to forecast.com. Uh, I'm going to log in.
Now let's say that I wanted to go to my webcast and here are all, the all the websites that I've created. I would go in here and say it says webcast information. All these, this icon is a webcast information about webcast. I would click on webcast information and I would take this login link and I highlight it. Now you get to have to mess around with the size of the room. Let me say that again. You're going to have to mess around with the size of the room because it may or may not fit perfectly, uh, and you have to really work at it to see if it fits properly for you. Uh, you may find out that it, it just doesn't look too good when it's uh, 640 by 480, or it doesn't look too good when it's 800 by 600. It looks much better when it's uh, 840 by uh, 540. So you need to uh, practice this as much as possible, but that's the first step is that you want to copy that link and then you want to go back to the, that iframe generator system that I just talked to you about you don't want to have any borders set it zero border is no okay just make sure that everything's none no 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 uh, scrolling is no I'm gonna actually put scrolling on yes just in case sometimes scrolling is going to be necessary uh, with uh, the vercast program and you, but again, you just mess around with this a little bit. You can't break it, and you and you paste that link in here, and you click on generate iframe, and that's all you need to do. So now you have that iframe generated. I copy that iframe. I'm just going to go right to that same website that we were just working on, where I put Google in there, and I'm going to replace the iframe that we've already put in here. With the Google, with the Vercast iframe, so highlight this, paste it in there, go to normal. Now, one thing that's going to probably happen is you might not be able to see everything. All right, now this is what here's the problem right away. I can see what the problem is right away. I don't have it wide enough. I have to make this much bigger, right? Because this is what happens, you're going to register in here and all that stuff, and everything's going to stay in this small room. You need to make it much bigger. So what I'll go back here, there's two things I can do. The, the, the one thing that I can do is I can go right back in here into the iframe generator and change this to uh, maybe, let's say, 9, 10 uh, by uh, 560. And I'm going to regenerate it, okay? I just generated it one more time. I'm going to copy, whoops, copy this iframe. Just to let you know, guys, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I have this set up. Here it is. Here's my online iframe generator. I have this as my bookmarks that go up at the top here because it's so important that I use this because, again, it allows me not to think, just create something and copy and paste it. It's like it's like a calculator, you know. Why why multiply 106 times 343 on a piece of paper when you can use a calculator? That's what this thing does. Okay. All right. So go back to my source. Now I can do one of two things with this. I can just I can copy and paste this on the source, or and this is something that's real easy. The sizes are right here, 480, 640. I can just change these sizes right here real fast and go back and forth into uh, what the look and feel of is for this site. But just for now, I'm just going to copy and paste. This way we know there aren't going to be any uh, typos anywhere. And that's I've done that before where I have thought I deleted like a 9 and I, and I didn't, and the, the width ended up being 9,960, right? So I'm going to go back to normal to, to uh, take a view at this and see if it looks any better. It, does. it looks a lot better. Uh, it does have the scroll bar, and the reason why you want the scroll bar is because down below here, it's entering your name and email address. Okay. So what's the next step? What's the next thing that we we need to do? Well, the next step is um, we need to upload this site. So I'm going to save this again. Just click on save, and rather than upload it uh, using an FTP system. Actually, you know what? I might have FileZilla already. Let's see.
I don't have files on this computer. I use, I use a different uh, system, but sometimes it takes a very long time to load up, so I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to go to cPanel because everybody knows how to use cPanel, hopefully. All right, so let's go back in here and go open up cPanel. Go to vercast.com forward slash cPanel. And I'm going to wait just a second because it takes a little while for this, to, this site to load up. Drink my coffee. Okay, I'm now in cPanel, and what I need to do is I need to load that website that I just created called famous.html that I saved into my documents folder. You go to file manager. And I'm in the public HTML. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call that folder famous. I'm going to create the new folder. Now sometimes the new folder does not show up and you'll have to hit the refresh button. This time it does show up. I don't have to hit the refresh button. It's right here. I'm going to go into the fa into the folder called famous and it's not it's going to be an empty folder. Directory is empty. And I'm going to upload by clicking the word upload here. I'm going to upload that file that we just created. And that file name was in desk, it was in documents. And it's called famous. It's right here. Click on that. Open. And on the bottom right hand side, it should say it's complete and it does. It's all completed. So now I can go back to the Vercast uh, public HTML. Make sure it's in there. And it's right there. Okay. Now Again, I'm not sure about the sizes, whether it's good or not. Uh, I like to make the size uh, as small as possible uh, and also as readable as possible at the same time. So try to strike that balance. And that's why, if you remember, uh, in the past we have uh, uh, we had the igotomeeting.com forward slash live and forward slash live too. And if you're doing iframing with any uh, of our Vercast uh, uh, webinars, you might want to do the same thing. Live one basically was for people who have larger computers and if they couldn't see the whole thing, I then recommended they go to live two so that they could see more of the whole uh, site. Because there are different types of monitors and it's really important. Now one thing I didn't test before, and this is important guys, one thing I did have never tested in here, and this is in the, in the iframe generator, I always go with pixels. You might want to try to go with the percentage and make it, uh, you know, 90% of the of the width and 80% uh, of the height, so that it might fit for all monitors. I've not done that yet, and uh, once I try, and, and I'll give that a try to see if that works. That may work real well with our system. I just don't know. So play around with the, this iframe generator and see which what, what works best for you. I will get you the link to this site just as a reminder. Okay. Somebody in here might have something that they feel is bad, but I, I have been using this for a little while and absolutely love it. So, okay, so what I need to do is I'm going to go to another website, open up a new uh, tab. I'm going to go to vercast.com forward slash famous. And it's forbidden. Let me try it one more time. I might have to put it in index.html. I'm not sure. What did I do wrong? Let's find out. Oh, it's called famous. Oh, it's called. That's what I did. I called it famous.html. So I need to change this to index.html. My bad. It would have worked if I did famous forward slash famous HTML, but I don't want to have to do that, right? So let me get rid of this. Delete. Do that again. And here it is. Welcome to my world famous website. 
but obviously you can put anything you want in here. Uh, welcome to uh, Terry Holt's uh, webinar. Webinars are a system. Uh, please follow the directions below before taking you on the inside. Something like that. I can actually put a video up here. Hey, my name is Terry Holt. We're working hard to help you do the blind. And in order for us to we would love you to come join us, scroll them up. Uh, I'll read the instruction and we're going to start and we'll see you on the inside. I'm just saying what this question now because I may have a problem with me and maybe being live now and going to another room, so I don't want to do any of that stuff. So here in case, I'm going to log into this room. It's connecting to the server. And of course, it's going to be a little bit slow because I'm doing like 19 things at the same time. But yeah, here we are, right? Here I am. Here's the room. And this is iframed. This is not, and it says, thanks, for, thank you for coming. So everything kind of fits in here for me. I could actually make this wider, obviously, which is what I would definitely do. I would go back to the drawing board a little bit, make this wider instead of making it 9, 10 wide. And maybe I want to make it 1,000 wide. But that's for me. For other people, it might fit perfectly. So that's why you might want to have different sizes for different monitors. Okay, uh, you know, like attention laptop users, click here to see the room a little bit differently. All right. Now I'm just going to go back to uh, uh, stop desktop sharing for a little bit and see if anybody has any questions, and then we'll go back and uh, finish up a few things. Okay. Okay, did uh, you guys find that uh, helpful? Volume was terrible for me. Yeah, you know what? I, I turned my volume down, John Wood. Uh, I'm choppy, Keith. Okay. I just remind you guys, if I'm choppy, uh, if there's a problem with volume, uh, I did turn down my volume a little bit lower than usual because Bill Licht mentioned, uh, said that I was too high. Um, but, uh, hey, JQ, I think I hear you. Oh, is that you Gabby again? I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, if I was choppy, uh, a lot of the times when I'm choppy, um, I can't say all the time, but a lot of the times it might be because you might have Skype running in the background. If you guys have Skype running in the background, especially if you're a moderator, in any type of webinar environment, you've got to kill you've got to kill Skype. Who said you do? Was that you, JQ? No, I didn't say that. Somebody just said the word you do. <laughs> uh, Gabby left. He said he's a uh, good grandpa duty. All right. So um, always, always remember this. Get rid of Skype. Shut it down 100%, especially if you're a moderator. Even if you're not a moderator, a lot of time there's going to be conflict between Skype and this room. It just happens. It happens with, with everything. It happens with... Um, uh, go to webinar all the time. If you ever on a go to webinar meeting, uh, you'll hear people saying, "Oh, I've got Skype open uh, and I'm having some conflicts," and they shut it down. Okay, uh, it's your ISP connection and stuffs up when uh, uh, you go to desktop sharing. Yes. Uh, Steve says he doesn't have a problem with Skype. Well, Steve, you're 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 one of like 10% of the world, uh, and I'm serious when I say that. Most people have problems with Skype. It, it, just, uh, it just happens. When you're doing uh, any, especially as moderator, never, ever, ever as a moderator have Skype open while you're uh, doing this because you're going to have problems. It might not happen every time, but you will end up having problems. <laughs> I guarantee it. Now, I hear somebody, I hear some noise in the background. I shut Skype. JQ, I hear you. That's good. But JQ's not hearing me. Yes, I am. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick him out. <laughs> I just kicked out. I just kicked out JQ because he wasn't. Uh, he was talking. Let me try it again. Yes. 
I uh -huh. just heard the word yes. Can you... Can you hear me now? Are you making funny sounds, JQ? I hope not. Now you're breaking up. Okay. Now I heard you a little bit better just now. Look here, you're fine. Now I don't hear you at all. I did hear you for a little bit. JQ, speak a full sentence, please. Speak a full sentence, he says. Can you hear me now? Can anybody Yeah, you're breaking up big time, dude. Bill Lick hears me fine. I hear you, but you're breaking up really... Yeah, you step, seems to be breaking up, up really bad. Well, okay. Um, Stomping on each other. We're, ta we're, over we're talking over each other. It seems as though others hear me, but you don't. Well, that's okay. It's only important that others hear me. All right, I'm going to leave and come. All that I got to say. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Okay, I'm going to uh, stop my recording, and I'll be right back. And, and hopefully uh, you guys found that as helpful. All right, you guys can hear me, is that correct? You hear me in a halfway decent fashion? All right, thank you, thank you. I, 